Okay, so we have 2 over 3x plus 3 over 2y equals 4 over 5. Again, we need to solve for y in terms of x. So raise your hand when you can tell me what the first step would be here. What's the first term we want to eliminate from the left side of our equation? Two yep. Good, 2 over 3x. How do I get rid of that? It's a positive, so I have, yep. Take away 2 over 3x. I've eliminated it. So what do I need to do to the right side? Which is? Plus? Take away? Take away. 2 over 3x. So we need to divide this whole thing by 3 over 2, right? So what else needs to be divided by 3 over 2? Which terms? All of them, right? Divide by 3 over 2. Divide this by 3 over 2. Okay? And we've eliminated that. So we have y equals. And again, you can do it off to the side if you want. Okay? We're doing this part first. 4 over 5 divided by 3 over 2. Okay? So you do that part on your own. Good. 4 over 5 times 2 over 3. Good. 8 over 15, excellent. So that will be 8 over 15. Take away, because we have subtraction. Who wants to tell me how they got the second term? So the second term is 2 over 3. So let's just leave the x right now. Divided by 3 over 2. Yes, Abby. So you take 2 over 3. Yep, well, we'll put the x, yes. And multiply it by what? It's, all, it's divided by 3 over 2, so we have to multiply by the reciprocal. What's the reciprocal of 3 over 2? 2 over 3, good. Okay, 2x times 2. 3 times 3, 9. So this is the second term. And this becomes 4 over 9x. So the final answer is y equals 8 over 15 minus 4 over 9x.